Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about intermittent fasting and the impact it has on cellular function. We often talk about the different impacts and benefits of intermittent fasting, but how does it all work at the cellular level? So let's get into some of the physiology, right? Intermittent fasting basically activates certain proteins that regulate cellular function. So there's a protein called FOXO, and this is the protein that will help suppress tumors. So it has tumor suppression action, therefore minimizing or uh, improving uh, can cancer outcome, right? PGC1-alpha. This is where the energy is produced, right? We're talking about mitochondrial biogenesis. It actually uh, creates more mitochondria, improving cellular energy. And it's also remodeling of tissues. So there is a process called autophagy or autophagy, where there's gonna be cleaning up of cellular debris, right, in our body. And it's a great way to remodel some of our tissue. And it also, um, it's a metabolism regulation um, uh, protein. So it improves um, a calorie burning uh, capabilities, basically improves that sluggish uh, body where you feel tired all the time. So you have more energy, you have more mitochondria, and more function. NRF2, this is the protein that helps reduce inflammation. Right? It's anti-inflammatory effects. So it helps cardiovascular function, uh, reduces water retention, uh, reduces chronic disease, and so forth, because you're minimizing inflammatory processes in our body. The other one is activates kinases that modulate gene expression. So this is where we have genetic expression that can be altered because you're intimate in fasting. So there is AMPK kinase, and this is the one that regulates energy. And it's also responsible for repair and recovery. So after injury, right, you want this to be upregulated so you can repair and recover, or with chronic disease, or any acute inflammatory processes. You want to be able to regulate your energy and then repair and recover from that injury. CERT genes, right? It turns on genes for stress resistance and my mitochondrial biogenesis. Again, another gene that improves energy, right? So it has a great impact on your, let's say, fatigue. I'm tired all the time. I eat and I fall asleep. It improves insulin resistance. It improves uh, mitochondrial function for ATP production. So when we look at intermittent fasting and we go, oh wow, there's all these benefits, but how does it really work? It works by stimulating protein synthesis, right? And then it also impacts gene expression uh, and also improves bio, uh, mitochondrial biogenesis. So it has many impacts. So if you have never tried intermittent fasting and you have chronic health conditions, uh, you might want to consider and look at some of the intermittent fasting intervals to see which one might fit well into your um, daily life, as well as a ketogenic diet. So using ketogenic diets along with intermittent fasting can have a profound impact on your overall health. Okay, My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.